make a little video about segment and angle addition today. This is kind of something we've done multiple times, but without making it formal. So today we're just going to make it formal. So basically segment and angle addition has the same formula, if you want to call it that, which is just that you're going to add whatever the pieces are that you have together and that that is going to equal the whole thing. So let's say you have something like this. Okay, in its simplest form, it would be something like this. If you add those pieces together, you figure out how big the whole thing is. And that comes naturally to most people. Let's say I said this whole angle was 47 degrees and I told you this one was 27. I'm sure even before I finish this sentence, you already actually know how many degrees this one is. 20. All right. But of course, when you add algebra into it a little bit, it gets a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to do just a few quick examples of what that would look like for your reference and then give you some stuff to practice. So let's say you had this. So we have a segment and its name is I. J, K, this piece, and then the whole thing. Okay, so here's a problem. And this one is not like these where you can just in your head say, oh, I know exactly what that is. So in that case, you need to set up an equation. The equation would go with this form, piece. So our first piece is 12 plus our second piece, 2x minus 7 is equal to the whole thing. All right. And then you just solve the equation. So combine like terms. And then solve by moving things around using the properties of equality. All right, so we know that x equals 9. But sometimes for these types of questions, what they really want to know is, say, how long is segment JK? And if we want to know that, we just have to substitute our x, which is 9, and simplify the expression. So the length of JK is 11. Another way you might see this with angles would be a one step further. And this would be something like this. T is the midpoint of SU. And then you'll have some information. Now for this one, you wouldn't actually use piece plus piece equals whole because we don't know how long the whole thing is. But the word midpoint is important because that tells us that T is in the middle. And if something is in the middle, what does that mean about the two pieces that are on either side? It means they are congruent. Okay, and in geometry, congruent means equal or same size, same shape. So for this one, if it's the midpoint, and we know that those are equal, your equation will reflect that. 8x plus 11 is equal to 12x minus 1. And then you would solve that. So x equals 3, and if we want to know maybe the length of the whole line, or segment I mean, I'm going to substitute 3 for x, 24 plus 11 is 35, so I know this piece is 35, which means this piece needs to be 35, so our whole segment is 70. So just be sure when you do these problems that you understand what it's looking for. I didn't actually tell you that here, but it will be very specific when you have these types of problems. And let's do two with angles and then we'll be all set. All right, so let's say you have 
and go B, C, D. Uh, cut by CH. We have this information. The measure of angle BCH is 50X. The measure of angle HCD is 65. And the measure of angle BCD is 81X plus 3. We want to find X. So the very first thing you should do is label your diagram. So put the information in, and this is why we learned about how to name sides and angles earlier in the year. So BCH, BCH is 50X. Angle HCD is 65 degrees. And the whole thing, BCD, is 81X plus three. Well, we know that piece plus piece equals whole. So 50x plus 65 is equal to 81x plus 3. And then just solve that. So x equals 2. And if we wanted to find the measure of this angle, we would substitute that in, 100. If we wanted to find this one, we would substitute that in, um, which would be nine, 162 plus 3, which would be the same. So that is how you do that kind of a problem. And again, we might have a special case problem where we use bisect. So I'm going to write one down for you. If BD bisect. Angle ABC. The measure of angle DBC is 79, and the measure of angle ABC is 9x minus 4. Find x. So here, again, we don't have a picture. The best idea is to draw one. It, of course, will be to scale. But getting used to drawing pictures is fantastic. We're going to fill in the information we know. We know that this is a bisector, which means that those two pieces have to be congruent. The measure of DBC is 79 degrees. The measure of ABC, the whole thing, is 9x minus 4. Now, normally we've been using piece plus piece equals whole. Um, we're missing a piece right now. Or we could use that this side and this side are equal and set up inequality. Um, but this time that really won't work because we don't have anything here. So what would go here? Good. We should have 79 degrees because this was bisected, which means the two parts have to be congruent. So we know that 79 plus 79 has to be equal to 9x minus 4. Piece plus piece equals whole. So it'll be 140 plus 18, 158 equals 9x minus 4, and solve. So x is 18. All right, that is the gist. Please practice the worksheet that is posted along with this video, um, just to make sure that you really understand. All right, have a great day.